Well, hello again, you are watching Brian Northmore Photography. It's my mission to inspire the photographic community by passing on my knowledge, passion and skills. I'm a photographic judge, lecturer and workshop leader based in southwest England. You can subscribe anytime, hit the watermark, and don't forget to tick the bell icon for those important updates. And I love to reply to all your comments. In this week's video, join me at Wasward for this evening, chilling out in the fading light. This is luxury photography, first class location and lakeside seating, I've got it all. If you're not inspired by this to get out and give it a go for yourself then keep watching and I will talk you through my composition, settings and thoughts. So I've come back down to um, Waswater again tonight and uh, the weather conditions are completely different to what they have been. Um, if I just sort of like go around in a big circle you should be able to just sort of like just see the, what we're looking at. So. As you can see, it's actually quite sunny tonight. It's quite a nice um, evening. I don't think we're going to get a lot of colour or anything in the sky, but you never know, we might get a little bit. But what we will get is those nice warm golden hour um, sort of tones and those tones straight after sunset as well. So I think I'll stay around for a little while. Um, I couldn't really get to the location that I had in mind. It's fenced off. Um, didn't appear to be any sort of public access to it. And I don't really want to start jumping fences. I don't think it's the right thing to do. I wouldn't want somebody to suddenly jump into my garden and take a photograph so um, why should I think anybody else wants me to jump onto their land and do it so we're just gonna have to go with what we've got. Um, I'm gonna set the camera up now then I'll explain to you my composition and uh, it'll be a matter of just sitting here really I think and just taking a few snaps as the sun goes down and uh, yeah it's a pretty fa fantastic way to spend an evening really so um, yeah once I've set the camera up and I've, and I've sorted out exactly what the composition is I'll um, give you an idea of what I'm doing. So um, the camera's all set up. Um, I don't know if it's me just getting older or whatever, I don't know, but I bought a small um, stool to sit on the other day. It weighs absolutely nothing, puts it in the camera bag. And it makes life a lot easier, I've got to say. I'm just sat here watching Ruby, watching the sun slowly set, watching the light levels change camera set up and ready to fire when I want it to. At the moment the contrast rate level is just far too high, I, I wouldn't make a good picture. So when that sun just dips below um, and there's still some light in the sky and light in the water, we'll do it. Um, hopefully as things cool down the, the, the water will even out and we'll, we'll lose those reflections but I'll, I'll put on a, uh, a six stop ND anyway if I need to just to do that. Um, because of the shape of the sky, because of the shape of the um, fells and that around that I'm trying to deal with, I'm not going to be able to, um, sorry Ruby's distracted me, I'm not going to be able to use a uh, neutral density grad to hold the sky back in so I'll, I'll bracket my exposures and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit longer now and then uh, just see what happens in a minute. So I've been uh, sat here now, doing a number of different uh, pictures and basically I'm showing you the back of the camera so you can roughly see what I've got set up. don't know how this is going to come out on the screen so it's a bit of an experiment really. I've been taking exposures, um, well I've been taking, uh, I'm, I'm not really too worried about the shutter speed at the moment but I've been using f11 and f16 and I've bracketed probably Mind, probably plus nothing, so on zero on exposure down to minus four or five stops because the sky is really so bright. So I'll have to do a uh, an exposure blend to get the sky in um, when I finally do the picture. And uh, I've got a 0 0.9 neutral density filter on and a six stop as well. So I'm using it just to smooth out this water a little bit. Um, because it's moving, it's okay, but it, I just wanted it really smoothed out. Um, when that sun drops down, the temperature's dropped and the water's actually moving a lot quicker now. So, um, I'll have to see how it goes. I might need to wait until it gets a bit darker afterwards. I'm hoping we'll pick up a bit of colour in the sky in a minute. You never know when the sun gets down a bit lower, but I think we've got a bit of a wait yet before that starts to happen. But we'll see what, what happens. If it does and it cools and the reflections come back in, it could be really, really good. So it's just a waiting game now. And uh, it's actually starting to get a little bit chilly, to be honest. 
fact the light's starting to get a bit overcast as well, so I don't know if we're going to be here that much longer. I've uh, also adjusted my composition slightly. I don't know if you can, well, you can't see it now, to be honest, on the screen, but you'll see it on the finished image. Um, I didn't like the way that the um, reflection, dark reflection from the fells on the other side um, connected with the um, shoreline on the left hand side and it's those little things that make all the difference. I wanted that continuation of water from in front of the camera and then down around to the left, I wanted that flow and uh, when, when the two shadows, when the shadow and the shoreline connected it kind of broke that rhythm for me. And it just didn't feel right so um, so that's what I'm looking at doing the Sun is just about gone down now below that horizon so um, we can keep taking a few more pics and just see how it goes because the Sun's going down all the time the exposure is changing all the time so I'm having to constantly readjust so I'm shooting at F and what I do as well is I, uh, in fact, I'll show you on the playback. You'll see that I put my hand in front of the camera. And that just marks where um, one set of exposure ends and another set begins. That's something that I took this morning. Well, I am a little bit confused about it's why it's getting so dark at the edges. Well, I, I know why it's getting dark at the edges of the frame, but... Don't worry about that. There you go. The two vertical lines either side also allow me to um, set up a custom aspect ratio inside the camera. So that's a 16 by 9, uh, one of my preferred ones. But what will probably happen is uh, I'll, I'll probably in the raw file maybe go for full size, but I just want it there as a guide. So I'm going to get back to shooting and uh, let you, I'll let you know when I've finished. Sitting here looking across Wast Water, I wonder how it came to be that I could be so lucky to be sat in one of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. Watching Ruby play in the water, measuring time by the movement of the sun, not in hours, minutes, seconds, or megabits per second. Landscape photography is not just about getting the photograph, or well, not for me anyway. It's just as important to enjoy the process and just being here. It's not unusual to come back from a shoot without the photograph you wanted, but the process is always enjoyable, so each image still has personal value. Narrowing the mind to focus on a few important things, shape, form, composition, aperture and shutter speed. It's a form of meditation. Photography allows me to connect at a far deeper level with the landscape. Studying the movement of clouds, the changes in wind across the surface of the water. Air temperature decreases, not so much waiting for the decisive moment, but enjoying every moment. All of these things I noticed now as I composed this photograph, balancing light, shadow and visual elements, small tweaks to convey my sense of wonder. And this part of the world right now is especially wonderful. Well, that, folks, is it. The light's where it is now. I don't think we're going to get any colour in the sky. I think it is what it is. But we've got some great images, I think, some nice textures and tones and things in the water. We'll see what we've got when we um, eventually edit them all. But, uh, yeah, that's it for tonight. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Help me out and subscribe. Don't forget the bell icon, give a thumbs up or down and please comment below. Most of all, enjoy your photography, stay safe and I'll see you next time.